Are you looking for the best AI tools to improve your marketing efforts? Well guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you five AI tools that I rely on every single day to help me run a successful marketing agency. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ryan. I appreciate you being here. And my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. So if you find this video valuable, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. But now let's dive into five AI tools that I rely on every day as a marketer. So first off, the marketing agency that I'm referring to throughout this video is called Empathy First Media. And I run this with another partner and we specialize in high ticket lead generation for clients in various industries, mostly cash-based medical IT, but we work with a lot of high ticket clientele. Now I'll leave a link to this in the description below if you're interested, but it's important that I call this out. That way you guys know what I'm referring to when I say marketing agencies. I'm not just making something up here. So my number one AI tool that I use every day as a marketer right now is Claude. And yes, I still do use ChatGPT if you're asking that question, but when it comes to marketing related tasks, I found my outputs in Claude to be superior to ChatGPT just for what I'm looking for. That's just my personal take. Now I am on the premium version of Claude. I do have a video explaining Claude Pro, if it's worth it for you or not. You can find that in the video description below. It does cost $20 a month. I'm on the team's plan. I think I'm paying about $30 a month right now. But when it comes to marketing in particular, and this is a Claude Pro only feature, are these custom projects. Now I have a project for almost every client that we work with at our marketing agency. But more specifically, I also have one that mimics my writing style and my tone, right? So you can do this for any client, your company, or even yourself, like I'm showing you here, where you can use these projects, right? So on the right-hand side, you can upload all sorts of knowledge, whether it's articles you've written, uh, podcasts, or videos that you've been on. You can upload a PDF of your LinkedIn profile, essentially to train this project so it can create outputs that sound like you. And this is beneficial from a marketing perspective, as you'll see if I click my previous chat, for generating long form SEO optimized blog posts, short form content for LinkedIn posts, ideation, uh, ideas for YouTube hooks, right? Anything that is yeah, anything that's marketing related that you want to sound like you, this is a perfect use case that you can use Claude for. I'm actually gonna find a, an actual example here that I recently did. So here's one here. I asked Claude to write a long form SEO optimized blog post. Uh, it spelled my name wrong. That's not how you spell my last name, but regardless happens all the time. Um, it is writing, I gave it a target keyword and then I also gave it uh, a title and then it wrote an SEO optimized long form blog post in my writing style. Now, is this perfect? No, there's still some tweaks I had to go in, change a few words, uh, obviously add images, add internal links and do all the other on-page SEO stuff. Um, but this gives me a really good start. And that's just one use case of writing long form SEO optimized blog posts in my writing tone. So that's one marketing use case. Now, another thing that I recently did, if I can find it here on the left, uh, one thing I do all the time as well is I repurpose YouTube videos to blog posts. So uh, I upload the transcription, I give it a target keyword. Um, and so here then it writes an SEO optimized blog post based on the video transcription that I give it. That is another use case that I use all the time inside Claude. So another marketing task that I actually did yesterday inside Claude was getting content ideas from my competition. So I have one client where I went to the XML sitemap and essentially copy and pasted all of the blog posts right here that you see. And then I went to one of my competitors, went to their XML sitemap, copy and pasted all of their blog posts. And I asked it the following, basically analyze these blog posts, remove any duplicates and show me the articles that I'm missing in a table format. And once I did that, what Claude did was provide the following. It analyzed all the URLs that I provided on my website, all the URLs that I provided on my competitor's website, and it went in here and gave me blog post ideas based on what they have that Claude thinks is good that I should write about that I currently don't have on my website. It gave me a blog post idea, a target keyword, and then it gave me an SEO title for each one of these. Now, you could also add a meta description, and you could even write an SEO optimized blog post using Claude for every single one of these ideas that it gives you. I'm not saying that's a great idea, right? Because not all of these are going to be perfect. But again, this is just a great marketing use case that you can use for Claude is to find content ideas from your competition. 
Now, I must admit that Claude is not a silver bullet when it comes to marketing. It still can't generate AI images. It still can't browse the web in real time, but there are other tools that I'm gonna show you in this video that I use for AI image generation and also real time web browsing. So be sure to stick around to the very end. So the second AI tool that I find myself using every day as a marketer is ChatGPT alongside Claude. And I am on the premium version. I pay $20 a month for ChatGPT Plus, and I use it for almost all the same tasks that I use Claude for. And one very underrated use case, I don't see a lot of people doing this when I do consultations, is I actually compare and contrast the outputs that I get from Claude versus ChatGPT. Sometimes ChatGPT has better outputs, sometimes Claude has better outputs. Depends on the use case and the prompt on what I'm asking. But like what I just showed you earlier in this video, when I asked for the competitor content ideas, I plugged in that exact same prompt into ChatGPT Plus and it came up with a few different ideas than what Claude did not include. And that is a huge benefit as a marketer is using ChatGPT alongside Claude, comparing the outputs as sometimes one will give you a better output than the other. But another quick use case that I use this for a lot, and this is just a small one, it's probably relevant to a lot of you watching, is I'll use it to generate AI images. Again, Claude can still not generate generate AI images. And one little quick example, real world use case is I post a lot on my personal LinkedIn account. So I'll come into ChatGPT and I'll say, generate a professional image for my social media posts when I provide the copy. And I'll provide the copy here. And then it generates this post based on the copy that I provided. So I'll come in here, download this image, upload it to LinkedIn, attach with that copy. And it just makes my uh, appearance on LinkedIn or Twitter or whatever platform just look more professional with an AI generated image attached to it. That's another very quick example. I'm not gonna go down the rabbit hole. Uh, I have several videos that cover ChatGPT and ChatGPT Plus and what I'm using it for. I use custom GPTs a lot. So for example, I have a podcast and with this custom GPT in particular, I'll simply give it the title of a podcast episode. It'll generate an optimized description, YouTube tags, hashtags. I have a similar one for YouTube videos. I have one where I can re-spin news posts in my own words. I have a custom AI agent that mimics myself like I showed you inside Claude. Uh, this is their version of Claude Projects. Uh, so I like using custom GPTs as well. You can go to the GPT store. You can find all sorts of these that were created by members of the community. So you don't have to go through the hassle of making them yourself. Uh, but regardless, guys, ChatGPT and Claude are by far the two tools that I find myself using every single day for various marketing related tasks versus other AI tools out there. So the third AI tool that I use every day as a marketer is called Firefly's AI. And this is an AI note taker or AI meeting assistant. So what this does is if you're using Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, or just any virtual meeting, this will come in as an AI assistant. It'll record the entire meeting. It'll take notes and it'll transcribe these notes and then create action items based on what was said in the conversation. So I can't tell you how many times I've sat through client meetings where I forgot what the client said or I forgot an action item. I forgot to write something down. This is so beneficial as I've come back to this almost after every meeting that I have and I found something that I forgot about that I know I needed to do later on. Now, I'm not going to access my dashboard. I have confidential, I have confidential uh, conversations I've had with clients. I don't want that being seen on a YouTube video for obvious reasons, um, but this is used by some pretty notable organizations. Now, it's not free to use. It's a freemium model, so you can start free here and it gives you a limited amount of credits. Um, but it's $10 per seat per month for the pro plan. They have obviously business and enterprise plans. But this is something that's worth investing in if you're a marketing agency, uh, if you're a content creator, you just work with clients in general. This is just something that I would invest in. And it might not be Firefly's AI. I know like Otter AI is another one. There's all sorts of these AI meeting assistants or AI transcription services out there. Uh, but this is a tool that I find myself relying on a lot is Firefly's AI. So the next AI tool that I use every day, now this isn't just one AI tool in particular, I'm talking about AI image generation. There's a few different tools that I use for this and Leonardo AI being one of them. So I use AI generated images for social media posts of my own, social media posts for clients. I'll use it for YouTube thumbnails sometimes. I'll use it for graphics if I'm running ads somewhere. 
Uh, those are just a few different use cases for marketing purposes, but Leonardo AI is one of the best free AI image generators out there right now. I made a video covering my favorite free AI image generators. You can find that in the description below, but I've mentioned Leonardo AI a lot on my channel. Again, it's Leonardo.ai. You can sign up for free and start using this right now. Uh, it is one of the better ones out there. And I just, I just really like the outputs and what the developers are doing. Canva actually just acquired them. Uh, so I would assume that will give them more resources at their disposal to make this tool even better. Another one that I've used lately is Ideogram. Now they just had a big 2.0 update. Uh, another free AI image generator. You get a ton of free credits, right? So if I click upgrade plan, you get 10 credits per day, which gets you up to 40 images. So for free, you can start using Ideogram to get 40 images a day versus paying for Mid Journey, Adobe Firefly, any of these more premium AI image generators. But that's another one that I find myself using is Ideogram. Now, if you don't wanna pay for ChatGPT+, you can actually get Dolly 3 for free inside the Bing Image Creator. Uh, so I've mentioned this tool a ton on my channel as well. I find myself using this sometimes if I run out of usage limits for ChatGPT in a given day. Uh, this is just a great tool. These are just some of the examples that people have created. Uh, you can sign up for free and start using this. All you need is a free Microsoft account. But that is a combination of the next AI tool that I use every single day is Leonardo, Ideogram, or the Bing Image Creator for AI image generation. So the fifth AI tool that I find myself using, maybe not every day, but I use this a lot, and this is called Perplexity AI. This is an AI powered search engine that makes a great alternative to Google search or Bing search, for instance. Now you can start using this for free. They do have a pro plan for $20 a month, but for most people, you can simply just go to Perplexity AI and start using this. So this is what the interface looks like. And again, it looks like a typical search engine. So I'm gonna click on one of these queries that they have right here. Will the US interest rates go down this year? It's a pretty popular query that people are searching on Google most likely. And what I like about perplexity is number one, there are no ads, at least yet, fingers crossed, right? They're probably gonna add uh, search ads sometime in the future. It's very lucrative. They're probably missing out on a lot of money doing that. But for now, that's one of my favorite features is there are no search ads for these given queries. I also like up here how they have the sources up top versus Google search. There's typically what, five to eight sources on a, on a page. So you have to scroll down. If you click one, you don't like it, go back, go to the next one. It's just more of a hassle that way, in my opinion. I also like how they not only have an answer here, so Google AI overviews has an answer, but they also have more information about what I'm asking. So the current situation, and they have little notes here, so I can click off to the different sources for these little notes. Potential rate cuts, factors influencing the decision. They just have more information about a given query versus if I go to Google and ask this, it's just gonna come up with eight search results and AI overviews. And then I have to do my own research and click back and forth on the different sources that it provides. You can generate an image. You have to be on the pro plan, it looks like to do that. You can search videos, you can search images just like you could with Google search or Google images. Um, but I just like right now what I'm seeing from perplexity and it's not as censored as these other big tech search engines. So again, this is a fifth and final tool that I use for SEO or content or ideation purposes is perplexity AI. Now this is just a bonus AI tool that I wanted to throw in at the end here. I don't use this every day, so I didn't include it in my top five, but this is Opus Clip. I've talked about Opus Clip a lot on my channel, but I have a podcast and what I use this for is to chop it up into short form clips. So here's one I just did with Isaac Jarnigan, really cool videographer, um, and this chops it up. I have a long form YouTube video, chops it up into these clips. It ranks it based on hook, flow, value, and trend. AI generates a title, AI generates a description. I can download it, I can edit it. But what's really cool about this is I can come in here and schedule all of this content. So I have content scheduled now until the, the end of the month of September, which is all AI generated. I integrated my social media accounts, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, TikTok, and then I used AI to generate the titles and the descriptions so I don't even have to do any legwork. This is just a really great tool to repurpose long form videos into short form videos. And it's one that I wanted to explain at the end of this video is I don't use it every day, but this is a really great tool for content creators.
So that's it guys. Those are five AI tools that I find myself using every day as a marketer. Now, if you've made it this far, I appreciate you. Leave a comment below. Are there, is there anything that I missed on here? There's so many AI tools out there when it comes to marketing and content creation. If I missed one that you guys are using, please let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel, like this video if you found value. But guys, most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.